Was there anyone in your youth or in Australia, or I mean, you're still very young, but over here that you felt or any organisation that really helped you? Yeah, I was really helped by the Heath Ledger Scholarship through Australians in Film. I took that out in, uh, not on like a date, like I won it, um, in... <laughs> uh, What's going on with this ring? It looks <laughs> it looks scary. Cody, is this a weapon? Isn't it very uh gaga it hotel? Well, okay, here we go. For the panel. Um we do like it though. For the children. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we gotta call it spade a spade. Yeah. Well, Yeah. Uh, if I could play any other character in the series, uh, I would play Cordelia. Duh. She's the best. Definitely not playing. Who is this character not? A woman. <laughs> Open to interpretation. That's right? absolutely right. Um, but I, uh, I find it to be. I find it to be very. Uh, it's it's artistic and it's. Ooh. It's a draw. I'm just yeah. making sure I'm in frame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, that's Billy yeah, playing yeah. with the nipple. Look at that. So, <laughs> tell me about the show. Come and cut. Coco, look. Lastly, we focus a lot on health and you. Do you have health advice that you would give your young fan? Health advice? I would say exercise every day and eat less butter. I mean, <laughs> I don't eat any butter. No butter. No butter. Do you have a substitute that you use for butter? Avocado. Avocado. Yeah. Really? Eat That's lots of Like a Californian right here. Oh, I love avocados. And just coming up, you've got American Horror Story, which a lot of people are very excited about. You work a lot with Ryan Murphy. What is? What can we expect? Are you? <laughs> well, it starts at the end of the world. And it goes up from there. And I can say that my character, I play Michael Langdon, so it's a fan favorite that's coming back from the first season, all grown up. And it's not going to be pretty. Hey, Cody. Hungry? I'm, I'm fucking starving. starving. Oh my fucking god. Starving. All right. Starving. You look really cute today. Thank you. I'm into your brown hair. I like it. It was to help hide in the streets, but, it but it's oh. not really working. It's not working, buddy. No. You know, it's like every guy comes wearing the same thing that his mother dressed him in for his year 12 formal. And I just <laughs> don't get why we're continuing to do it. Like, time after. And then people are like, oh, we spent six months making this tuxedo. Really? Like you could have got it off the racket, huh? You and I lie because the tanner wins if the tanner gets voted. No, Cody, so, I'm with you. So hearing, as a, as hearing a, about what the new people do, I'm like, okay, um, I'm bored. Let's do it. Because a werewolf, Ben, think about it. <laughs> Ready? Emerson, Harry, Barry. So there are eight rotations. Yeah, mm -hmm. eight different rotations. Do you find the personalities of the horses change with yeah. the change of properties? Yeah, they are slightly different. Well, in honor of Crazy Rich Asians, what's the craziest, richest thing you're wearing? But everything you just named sounds pretty crazy rich. <laughs> it's pretty crazy rich. I'm pretty crazy lucky. Hello, uh, my name is Cody Fern. I'm the recent recipient of the Heath Ledger Scholarship, uh, and I was in Warhorse and the last time I saw Richard, among a few other things. And uh, and I'm going to try and offer some words of what it was like to work with Elizabeth Kemp 
And I only say try because to, to try and put into words what it's like to be in that room with Elizabeth is, uh, <laughs> is a feat in and of itself. Where do you, where do you want me to sign? Um, anywhere, it's too sign. <laughs> Should I sign on my face or on the wire? Let's sign on the wire. <laughs> Of course. Moment of it, including the trauma and the <laughs> rejection and the eating ramen noodles, <laughs> you know. Really enjoy, enjoy it. Enjoy that. I look back on that and I'm so like fond of it in a way you know not that i'm you know a kardashian all of a sudden or something like that like that You've reference been fired yeah. from a job yeah i've been fired i have been fired and i have walked out i was um, once asked at a cafe i was a barista and i had to wear this like stupid beret and the manager went away and uh, so I wasn't wearing the beret and she came back and she was like, where's your beret? And I said, oh, well, can I go on my lunch break? And she said, yeah, and I just, <laughs> not gonna be wearing that hat. So I didn't go back. Uh, yeah, no, I've been fired. I've been fired for being too uh, myself, I think, huh. in a lot of situations. I am also bad because I end up telling people, like when I was working in hospitality, if someone's rude to me, I'm like, oh, you know? <laughs> This is so strange to me. Um, uh, I'm like the whole talk, I'm trying to talk and I'm staring at me. Um, so how did I get on people's bags? Uh, so there was, a, there was a chain of events that led up to it, um, but... stacking up for you. This is a, a real moment in my life. Um, I never thought that I could be here. It's my first time. I'm from a very small country town called Southern Cross in Australia. So this is uh, its a little bit overwhelming. What, what, how does it measure up to what you've seen and watched on TV? It's something entirely different because it's emotional, you know? Like what you see on TV seems so far and distant and it's taffeta. And when you're here, it's it's a moment of like, oh my God, wait a minute, I'm here and I'm with a nominated series and it's just, it's, it's amazing. Well, drink it all in, my advice to you, moment by moment, just have a look around and kind of plug it in. I'm trying, it's it overwhelming, is. isn't it? It is, and, and there's so many amazing people to So to many see. incredible people. Enjoy your evening. Thank you Thank so you much so for much. your time. Thank you so much, such a pleasure. Really then on a different day, we had the reaction of David Madsen, so I had time to prepare for that. But on the day, the director, Dan Minahan, said, OK, Cody, we're turning the camera around and we're going now. And myself, Darren, Chris and Finn were all like, whoa, that's, that's heavy. And I kind of had a moment of, oh, I don't know that I'm prepared for this as an actor. It's so heavy emotionally. How am I going to go there? You know, your insecurities as, a, as an actor come up. And Dan, who's such an incredible director, said, this is a man who could never anticipate what's about to happen. 
So just go with the authenticity of the moment. I think it's the hardest thing that I've ever done uh, as a human being. Um, oh, it's so sad, but uh, yeah.